Hello everybody, this is Refresh, and I'm here to take a look at the Demir Guild Kit for Magic the Gathering. According to the back, it says, Welcome to the House Demir. This box contains everything you need to harvest knowledge, sabotage enemies, and covertly communicate with fellow agents. Report back soon. It contains a Demir deck box, a 60 card Demir deck assembled from all three Ravnica blocks, plus special Demir basic lands, Demir symbol sticker, Demir pin, five double-sided tokens, and a guild-themed insert as well as a Demir Spin Down life counter. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Here is our Demir themed insert. It contains a deck list and some difficult to read secret agent text it looks like. And some artwork. This is our sticker. Our deck box, which looks like it will fit a sleeved deck. That's good. Here's our foil promo Entrada the Silencer and our deck. Our two colored Demir spin down life counter and our pin. Let's take a look at the deck itself. As you can see, it's a little bit of a controly deck, and there's some value involved in this. There's a lot of singletons here, and so this will be a fairly high variance deck, but it does seem to capture a picture of Demir over the years, so that is cool. Now that I've looked at the deck, I'll test it out against its peers, and I'll be back to let you know what I think. So I've had a chance to play with this deck a bit, and I have some thoughts. The first one is that, like the other Guild Kit decks, this is combining three different sets and their cards, and consequently there is a little bit of mechanical dissonance between the cards from the different sets, making this deck a little incongruent at times. Now, fortunately, Demir has a lot of cards that care about the graveyard, and so we have cards that put stuff in the graveyard, and then cards that do stuff with the cards that are put in the graveyard, and sometimes just milling your opponent out, like Glimpse in the, the Unthinkable. So the deck seems to be caring a bit about graveyard synergy, but there's also other things that are going on in this deck. For example, there's the Cypher cards. There's not a lot of them, but there's a couple Cypher cards from Gatecrash that are in here that take its place. And those are the things that create the tokens, the horrors or the copies. And I think those are kind of powerful, especially considering that you can stolen an identity, a Night Veil Predator, which is a very strong card to be able to create multiples of if you can get it in on the damage and then just have three, three flying death touchers all over the place. And there is definitely some power here. The deck is a little bit uneven and that's just because of the lack of consistency. And I think it's fine given that the fact that this deck is mostly trying to show off the Demir Guild over the course of the years. Some of these cards here aren't as impressive. Like Disdainful Stroke, it doesn't really say much about Demir, but I feel like most of the other cards do actually manage to capture some flavor of Demir. I think its win condition is a little bit slippery. There is a bit of grind involved in this deck, and I don't know entirely know, other than playing one of its bombs like Consuming Aberration or Saz deck or something like that, if there is some other major way for this deck to win, I think that's just it. It plays some creatures, it does a little bit of control and card advantage, and then tries to win off of its evasive creatures. And I think as a deck, that works fine. Some of the cards here aren't as impressive, like Barrier of Bones is, I don't think, going to do much. Wall of Mist is a little better, just because it has a bit more toughness. And then you're just gonna try to get some value out of your graveyard, grind out the game, and then win with some evasive creature, perhaps, and use your control abilities here in your removal spells and your counters and tempo spells to win the game. And that's pretty much it. I think that this deck is fine. It's a little all over the place, but I think that's going to be the case for all of these guild kit decks, so that's not the worst thing in the world. Let me know what your thoughts were about this deck if you had a chance to play it in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, you can hit subscribe. This was Refresh. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.